Network science lets you understand the world picture between related data points. This is thanks to the structural properties of a graph dataset. With GraphMap, you can use a network science and geolocation visualization in order to understand insights on territory. Users can query an area from the map, and they will get a result from a dataset stored in AWS S3. Uh, the magic happens uh, when the data that you got from this query is processed as a co-occurrence graph. So with this information, we can take advantage of a structural properties such as uh, between a centrality, a modularity, a page rank from raw information that is stored in the dataset. And what I mean with the raw information is that you can analyze uh, plain text. And this means that your data sets, uh, they don't have to be from the same category. It means that you can compare data sets from food with data sets from hospitals, from data sets from real estate. It doesn't matter uh, which uh, fields are you analyzing. So you just need plain text. For this application, I use uh, restaurants data. I just got the zip code extracted uh, from uh, another source, uh, the geolocation. Also, I got a menu data, and uh, all together, it, 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 it bring me information on territory. But it's not about which restaurants are there. It's about which ingredients they use. Having the information on this manner, I can explore different things, get different insights. For example, uh, I can uh, infer which niche markets are satisfied in some area by knowing, for example, cheese, nachos, or different ingredients. Uh, I can know uh, from this point and 100 uh, kilometers uh, which hospitals are there as well because I don't care what kind of data I'm just analyzing plain text. Uh, I can also, for example, I know that uh, properties that are located near to these restaurants, they have a higher value on real estate. So I can also analyze uh, what's the potential price of, of, of my home there. But you may be asking how to use graph map. What you do is that you select, uh, you move a marker in a place that uh, you're interested in. So you select uh, a radius, in this case, for example, 100 kilometers from this point. And now I just click search. What happened at this point is that I make a query using Amazon Athena uh, to the S3 dataset. And then I run uh, an algorithm that will build the co-occurrence uh, network and then run uh, algorithms from uh, Network X, uh, where I, I calculate the centrality of the nodes. Uh, I use the edges uh, to calculate uh, other properties as uh, modularity. And then I get the result. As you can see, uh, these points are geolocated. And here are the points that, are, uh, that they have um, between the centrality, the higher between the centrality. So I can select them, and uh, immediately I can see the relations on the map. As you can see here, I'm using a DECGL to see this 3D visualization. And I see that there are points that are not related to these central points. But then what's interesting is that I can see communities from this plain text analysis. And then when I see what I see is like community zero, a general medical, helipad, acute care. Every location will bring you a different insight. For example, here in Florida, we can see more uh, centrality on the ingredients. For example, cheese. And if we see, uh, once again, the communities, here I have uh, more, more types of hospitals. We can see where are they located the most. And we can see their properties on the hospitals. What kind of properties I can have? Well, hospitals is a very central point that is related to, to, to all others. But what if I'm looking for bets from 0 to 25? The main idea that I want to share with GraphMap is that um, using network science, you can analyze all kind of data because you're just looking for relations. In this case, I just got data from food and hospitals. But what if I can get from other kind of sources, such as real estate at the same time, maybe of population, demographics, and other sources, and put it all together? I'm surprised by the service of AWS Data Exchange. And this thing about data as a service is something impressive. And in many cases, uh, it will solve a lot of problems because it's hard to get the data. And here we just, we just got it.